in this video I'll, I'll be talking about 10 important points in uh, in, in nanobiotechnology uh, and to start with uh, uh, point number one is uh, it's uh, the, the, the definition of uh, nanobiotechnology uh, nanobiotechnology is an interdisciplinary field uh, th that that merges nanotechnology with biology so that means uh, it's a combination of nanotechnology and and, and biology uh, aiming to to understand and, and manipulate biological systems uh, at, at the nano scale uh, for, for various uh, uh, applications so the next point is uh, uh, nanoparticles and, and and medicines this uh, this this nanotechnology has has really revolutionized medicine uh, with the development of nanoscale drug delivery systems uh, and what what is this drug delivery system uh, it's like allowing the, the targeted delivery of theropathic uh, agents uh, uh, to, to, to the specific cells or tissues so so these uh, through these nanoparticles uh, uh, it, it is it is made possible that that, that the medicine can be targeted uh, to the points uh, uh, which require uh, the target of uh, the medicine that's being Im being uh, that's to be imposed on, on on the point where there is some kind of disorder uh, and and the, and the next point uh, next point uh, is is the diagnostic uh, narrow narrow probes this this nanobiotechnology has led to uh, to the creation of nanoscale diagnostic probes and and contrast agents so uh, for 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 imaging and and detecting diseases at early stages with uh, with, with high sensitivity and and and, and specificity that means uh, if 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 there is the transition in the color between the good cells and the bad cells so so this can lead to uh, the formation of an image where where, where uh, the disease of the particular portion or particular kind of disease can be identified uh, using this uh, diagnostic nanoprobe techniques and uh, nano biosensors this uh, this this nano bio technology uh, enables the, the fabrication of sensitive and, and specific biosensors uh, so sensor uh, what what is a sensor a sensor is something that that that's susceptible to some specific type of action going on we have sensors all around our body so 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 manufacturing these nano bio biosensors uh, enables the, the fabrication uh, fabrication of sensitive uh, uh, sensitive uh, biosensors uh, for, for detecting uh, biomolecules pathogens uh, the bad cells good cells uh, uh, the cells uh, uh, that are in between so so there can be specific sensors uh, uh, designed in such a way that that certain targets uh, can be identified using these biosensors uh, uh, these biosensors can, can, can also uh, detect the environmental pollutants uh, so uh, with, with applications in, in in healthcare and environmental monitoring so these biosensors uh, have applications uh, in healthcare and and environmental monitoring so the next thing uh, is the uh, is the nano medicine so uh, nanobiotechnology uh, is advancing uh, personalized medicine uh, with the development of tailored treatments uh, specific treatment for the specific problem based on an individual's genetic profile so uh, so we can understand the diversity and the in-depth uh, invoking of this nanobiotechnology uh, for, for the treatment of the diseases involved in particular genetic uh, profile delivering precise and effective uh, therapies uh, the next point uh, is is theranostics and what is this theranostics it is basically the integration of nanobiotechnology with therapeutics and 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 diagnostics into a single platform uh, this uh, this theranostics uh, it enables the simultaneous therapy and monitoring of the treatment response at the same point uh, uh, where both the things can be uh, executed uh, for, for the particular system we can diagnose and at the same same time uh, enable some some treatment uh, for, for, for the diagnosed uh, uh, for the diagnosed uh, problem or disease uh, that, that might be there and the next point is uh, 
uh, is the targeted uh, cancer therapy. So this nanobiotechnology has, has contributed uh, to, to targeted cancer therapies, reducing side effects and, uh, and improving the, 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 the eff efficacy of the treatment by delivering drugs directly to the cancer cells. Uh, uh, a, a strong, uh, uh, a strong uh, contrast uh, to the radiation therapy, where where, where these these uh, these uh, uh, the high doses of radiation ought to be used in order to evacuate uh, uh, the the cancerous cells, uh, nanobiotechnology seems to be uh, a, a very good uh, alternative in, in this domain, where uh, the cancerous cells can be killed uh, without actually uh, damaging the good cells that might be there in a tumor. Uh, or, or the pathogens that might be available in the system, uh, and the next point is is the bio uh, imaging. Uh, this this nanoscale contrast agents uh, such as quantum dots uh, and and magnetic nano uh, particles uh, they enhance the, the resolution uh, and sensitivity of the medical medical uh, imaging techniques. Uh, as we discussed uh, in the previous. Uh, Point, point number three, where we talked about the, the diagnostic nanoprobes. So, so this uh, this imaging uh, strategy uh, goes on improves, uh, improving uh, as uh, as the uh, as the uh, as these uh, these 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 things are obtained, like like quantum dots and 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 magnetic nanoparticles. Uh, so they are very sensitive uh, to the medical imaging. They are certainly aiding in disease diagnosis and uh, and monitoring the particular kind of disease. Uh, the, the, uh, this uh, regenerative uh, medicines, this nanobiotechnology plays a role uh, in, in tissue engineering uh, and, and regenerative medicine, providing uh, nano scoffers and, and nanoparticles for, for building uh, uh, cellular growth and, uh, and, and tissue repair, a very good uh, advancement. Uh, the, the very tenth point is the environmental applications. This nanobiotechnology has potential. Uh, applications uh, in environmental uh, remediation, uh, such as uh, we uh, using the, these nanoparticles for water purification uh, and and removing the pollutants from the environments. And uh, 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 goodbye and good luck. Uh, before saying goodbye and good luck, uh, let, let me conclude it with with few uh, with few statements. This nanobiotechnology uh, it, it represents a very synergistic. Uh, convergence of nanotechnology uh, and biology leading to a ground breaking advancement in medicine diagnostics and and environmental applications uh, the ability to manipulate biological systems uh, at the nano scale it certainly opens uh, up exciting possibilities for improving human health enhancing disease uh, detection and addressing environmental challenges uh, as this nanobiotechnology continues to evolve it holds the promise of revolutionizing various fields uh, and benefiting uh, society in in a number of numerous ways ways.